world, it's Paydeen. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I will be sharing to you the productivity apps that I use on my phone and also on my laptop. I hope that these apps that I'm about to share to you will also be helpful to you. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. If you're also new to my channel, I am a computer science major studying at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, and also a sophomore. I make videos about computer science, college, and also life. So don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and let's get started. So for the first app, I use Notion. I use Notion for almost everything, from setting goals to managing my school requirements and even planning my YouTube content. It is marketed as an all-in-one workspace and it truly is. Rather than switching to other apps, you can use Notion. So Notion has a calendar, tables, Kanban boards. You can even embed images, files into Notion. And by the way, if you are a student, you have a student email, you can upgrade your Notion account for free. This app may seem overwhelming at times because it has many features, but there are tons of YouTube tutorials on how you can use Notion and you can study them so that you can also use Notion and maximize the features that it has. So that's for the first app. So for the second app, I use Google Calendar. Even though Notion has a calendar already, I still prefer using Google Calendar to schedule everything that I need to do. I usually color code my schedule, lavender for personal stuff like eating, self-care, etc. Blue for college stuff like studying and red for YouTube stuff like editing, shooting a video, like what I'm doing right now. Google Calendar has a web and mobile app which makes it very easy for me when I schedule everything on my laptop and then it just syncs, syncs, it just syncs, it just syncs seamlessly with my phone. So yeah, that's really useful and I use Google Calendar. So for the third app, it's Trello. However, I don't use Trello that much anymore ever since I used Notion. However, it also depends on your preference. Trello has Kanban boards and if you prefer Kanban boards, then you can use Trello. Notion also has Kanban boards, but Notion has many features. So if you want something simpler, you can use Trello and that's not a problem because whatever works for you, that's fine. So before I get started with the fourth app, I just want to say that since I'm using my phone as a mic and it's kind of low on battery, just don't mind the wire I'm charging it. So for the fourth app, I use Forest. Forest is an app that's very helpful for focusing and also studying. So basically, Forest in Forest, you just plant a tree, set a timer, and then once the timer ends, you can browse other apps. However, if you browse other apps while the timer is still you know, timering the job <laughs> while the timer is still ongoing, you might, no, not might, you will kill the tree and we don't want to kill trees. So we just wait for the timer to end and after the timer ends, that tree will be planted in your own very own forest and you can already browse other apps. And after taking a break, you can set a timer again in forest so that you can focus again on studying. Forest has a well app and also has a Chrome extension. The Chrome extension blocks websites that you don't want to visit while studying and can also help you focus. Like It blocks Facebook, YouTube, it depends on you which websites you want to block while you're studying. So that's the fourth app, Forest. So we're now down to the last app, which is Class Up. I just use it to input my general college schedule and that's basically what I use it for. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have video ideas or questions, just comment it down below. I'll be happy to read it and reply to them. Thank you very much. God bless. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.